I'm here at the East Gippsland Gallery in Bairnsdale on Nicholson Street. I'm with a, uh, a local artist called Ian Wallace and I'm a, surrounded by a selection and a, a collection of quite magnificent works of art. Ian, good morning. Welcome to good morning, uh, Saturday's yeah. Breakfast Programme. Thank you. Tell me about these works. They're, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful watercolours of, of various Banksias. Where, where on earth did all this come from? Well, I've painted every Banksia in Australia, the 78 species. Actually, I've done a couple of extras because of a few variations. Mostly from Western Australia, they have 61. Uh, the Eastern States have got 17. But uh, the Western Banksias, of course, take the cake with the beautiful colours that the others. Eastern Banksias lack. In, in looking at them, when you get up close, as I'm about to do now, the, there is painstaking work gone into everything from the, uh, the, 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 the wood, the, the, the actual plants itself, the, the flowers and what have you. How, on, how long does it take you to, to do a, a typical work? Well, it's a really fine brush. It's not done with a roller. Um, <laughs> I use a really fine brush, about 10A, 20A, for any artist that might want to know. And a painting with the really fine leaves... Um, it's a sort of an exercise in parallel lines, and uh, I always say, oh, they, I do them in a couple of hours every day for about three weeks. Uh, they take, you know, a few weeks to do. Um, everyone's, everyone is different. Every bank shares different cones, seeds, leaves, and it's a real adventure to starting off to every bank share, a new one. We're going to come to some of these cones in just a few moments before we, before we conclude the interview. You're not, I think I'm right in saying, a, a trained artist. You picked this up with helping, hel- helping one of your kids, was it, drawing That's years right. ago? That's right. My seven-year-old son come home uh, and said, oh, Dad, could you draw me uh, an old tree? He'd had a go at it, but his page wasn't big enough, so he had to fold the leaves around, the, the tree around the leaves. And uh, I had a go with the pencil, and I spent about half an hour, and I thought, I've done a pretty good job. And then the next night, I was out with the pencil again, and I really haven't stopped. That's back in 1969. So Um, when you were a school kid, did you do art in school? No, never. No, no. I was... uh, 1969, I started. And uh, I never took up watercolours till about uh, 20 years ago. And uh, an artist said to me, Oh, look, Ian, the pencil works beautiful, but you want to get into watercolours. And I said, Look, I don't know anything about watercolours. I didn't make a rude remark. <laughs> uh, and I bought a few watercolours and I squeezed a tube and it wasn't the right green and oh, this was hopeless. But I started mixing them and, uh, and I've been doing it ever since to find out how to do the colours. Uh, I've never ever had any art lessons of any kind. But I've had a hell of a lot of practice in the years that have gone by. <laughs> What's so, that like seeing your works collected on, really, on an, on, in a gallery? It's satisfying. I only come in here half an hour ago with my wife and she said, yeah, it looks terrific. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, just sort of the grand finale because uh, it's been many years and when I started off, a, a, an exhibition was just a, not even a thought. Mm. Uh, but then it's gone on. And even the last painting, I finished the last one about three weeks ago, and uh, I find even now I, I can see my work better and better, neater, finer and more meticulous and uh, so uh, age improves with age. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the attraction of the banks here? Well, um, I started off with pencil drawings and did a lot of orchids. We had a lot of orchids growing around our way, uh, east of Melbourne years ago and uh, that got into really fine drawing and I, I really enjoyed the fine details and then... Um, I'd seen the Banksia exhibition, I thought, gee, they look great. And I started trying the Banksias, and they were so meticulous to get all the flowers, because some Banksias have just half a dozen flowers, stamens, and others have several thousand. And when I fit the first Banksia, I thought, there's got to be a better way than doing these one by one. But there isn't, and there's a, you've got to do the hard yards, and it, it's rewarding. The precision that is uh, evident here, was that reflected in your career? Uh, what no, did you do for a living? No, I've been a fruit grower for 40 years, really? but that's an art in itself. Well, it is. <laughs> it is. And, uh, yeah, this is... In the last... I started painting banks in 19, 1989, was the first serious one, uh, and I won a prize at Lake's Entrance. So the judge was a wonderful artist, Charles McCubbin, mm-hmm. and that gave me a lot of encouragement. Uh, from there on, I can sort of thank Charles for giving me that kick along, uh, in, in uh, confidence and uh, in the last 10 years, 8 to 9 years I've really got into it because I could see I was going to get them all done 
And Let's look at just one or two of the works here. Uh, uh, firstly, I want to walk around just the corner here. This beautiful gallery. Uh, have you been in here before, by the way? No, no. Isn't it a lovely it's, space? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is really great. Now, this is the, the Gippsland Banks here, which yes. has only been discovered seven or eight, no, ten years ago. That's right. That's a new bank. It's nothing startling to look at. Uh, it grows up uh, east of Malakuta, or west of Malakuta, on a place called Shipwreck Creek. There's only a hectare or so of it. There's probably a few hundred plants. Uh, it had been found many years ago, but it was thought to be a, 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 a New South Wales species. Uh, the difference in this one, if anybody comes across one, the flowers begin to open from the top, whereas most other banksias open from the bottom. So this is the big difference. Uh, in the, And, of course, being um, the Gippsland banksia, it's a, it's, it's a special deal. And it's, it's huge name of banksia, Croa jingalensis. Sounds frightening, it's just that it's... Be- from Crowajing along the National mm. Park. Okay. Let's walk back to the very entrance to the uh, to the exhibition here in this uh, lovely former Shire offices. We're told, I'm told, of um, the old Bans- city of Bairnsdale. As you come in on your right, as a collection of I don't know how many that there are, but uh, what, what on earth am I looking at here? Yeah, it's about 50 cones here. Uh, they're mostly Western Australian ones. Some are fairly uncommon. Very few people would have seen a lot of these cones. Um, Some uh, are unopened and they won't open until fire. Uh, Others uh, are in the shape of uh, roses, one called the rose fruit of the banks. That's really unusual. Um, Most of them uh, are Western Australia, as I said. Some are from the prostrate uh, ones that grow right on the ground. So there's, there's really a great variety. It's probably, I think most people will be really surprised when they see all these cones. Uh, they can't say that uh, they're all the same. Some are quite unusual in as much as they rarely set seeds yeah. and we've had to search one particular species, we've had to search dozens of plants just to find one cone. Uh, but it's a common, or reasonably common, because it doesn't rely on seeds to reproduce. So, yeah. So, what's next? Banksias. More banks. You've done all the banks. <laughs> well, what, else, what else can you do well, with them? Yes, I guess so. But a lot of the early paintings that I've done, and I look at them now, I think I can do better. Uh, I would never start. It's never the same doing the second time. It's an adventure the first time, and it's a so-so the second time. But you, it can always improve. But, uh, no, I, I would never. I'd never do them again. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, best of luck to you. Delight to talk to you, and congratulations on this beautiful exhibition. Well done. Thanks.